Hello my fellow maniacs, 852 Maniac here today. And in this episode we're just gonna be doing a few changes to our object player. We're gonna be ex we're gonna be writing out some code. Nothing too much, just uh some easy code. Now we we're just gonna go to our uh press up. Now we wanna make it instead of it going up, we wanna go ahead and make it go to where it uh let me just we don't need this that wide if I can get this. There we go. So let me, let me go ahead and we're going to execute a code. Now we're going to go move underscore towards underscore point. Did I spell it right? Yep. And then we're going to go ahead and go uh, mouse underscore x and mouse underscore y at a speed of 3. And that doesn't need to be spaced there. It's going to go like that. What did I do wrong? Does there need to be a space there? Pretty sure there doesn't. It says that there's something wrong. Did I spell the point wrong? Or towards move underscore towards underscore point. Oh yeah, I think I did. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> there we go. Alright. Now let's go ahead and test this out. And now, it, whenever we press up, hang on, it's not let me run the game. It's room. Hang on, man. I'll be right back. Okay, so uh, I just had to restart Game Maker. So now let's go ahead and test this out. Hopefully, I remember to save it. I think I did. Um, so now, when we press up, it should move towards it, but we want it to go. Okay, so simple fix for that is go to your object player and change key press up to uh, keyboard up. And now whenever you hold it down, it should move towards it. Do do do. All right. There we go. So now it's following the mouse. And we can shoot now and um, come up through there, get some ammo and shoot some more. All right. So um there's that. Now, uh, I'll be right back. Someone's knocking at my door. I'll be right back in one second. Okay, sorry about that. Um, I, I thought I was recording when I wasn't. So basically, let me just go ahead and show you what I just did. I went over to my SPR underscore player. Go to edit sprite. Now, I'm um, up here on the animations tab. Go down to rotation sequence and go to clockwise. And then I did 60 frames at 360 degrees. So um, basically it gives you this, and then uh, press OK, and now uh, go down to your object player, and I created, and then w upon being created, a create event, go over and go to uh, your main tab, go to change sprite, Here, I'll delete that, and I'll just do it, all over, do it over again, and uh, go right here and go... Uh, put the sprite to SPR player sub image one at a speed of zero so now that makes it to where it's the sprite looking towards the right when you first start and then, yeah we already saw that as the ammo um, and then I created a step event go to add event step and then uh, step and then in that event I executed a code direction equals point underscore direction um, bracket um, X Y mouse underscore X and mouse underscore Y and then image underscore angle equals direction. That makes it to where your player rotates, so I'll show you that right now. Press OK. And I'll put that code in the uh, description. So now we got a rotating character and it shoots the bullet from the gun. Do 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 I'm out of ammo. Let's go up here. Do, 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 do. So yeah, so that's pretty cool now. So now we got a moving character. I'll put that uh, code in the description below. Um, so yeah, so sorry about that. I didn't mean to do that, but uh, it happened. So now we're gonna be creating our zombie guy, guy. So now we're gonna go ahead and create an object. Go obj underscore zombie. 
and then go to the sprite and go to the SPR, your zombie sprite or enemy or whatever. I'm going to be doing a zombie and then in the future I'll make a enemy with a gun. But for now, since you guys are just beginning, just getting started and all that, um, it's better to uh, start with a zombie because they don't have to shoot back. And there's, their AI is pretty easy. So, yeah. So now we got the zombie. Now we want to go upon being created. And right now we're just going to have a move randomly for now. Just for now. Actually, we could do it where it moves towards the player. Let's go ahead and try that first. All right. So go to your code. Open up a new code and go... Uh, so this is whenever it's created, go move underscores towards underscore point. You should have this down by now. Um, now we want to go obj underscore player and then obj underscore player. I hope I'm, I'm not typing it that fast, so you should be able to follow it. And then uh, we want to give it at a speed of 2 because they're zombies. And then put your colon, I believe, <laughs> um, at the end there. So now when it's created, it should move towards the player and then we can shoot them. But also we want it to make it when it collides with the object bullet. We want it to destroy itself. So let's go ahead and we could write it out in code. But I'm just going to go ahead and use the drag and drop for now. So all you got to do. And now it destroys um a dis the zombie gets killed and um now we want to go over to our bullet tab and do the same for the bullet we're going to go collision with obj underscore zombie destroy this destroy itself and we want also we want to go to other and we want to go to outside room destroy itself that way so in the future once our game starts coming along our shooting game comes along it uh it won't be so lag. It won't lag. That's gonna save you from lag. Lag that way. So whenever it goes outside the room, it gets destroyed. So now let's go ahead and run our game and see if this is working. I'm pretty sure it should. All right. Oh, we forgot to add the zombie. Hang on. <laughs> okay. So now let's go to our room, and we want to add a zombie up in this corner and down in this corner. So now we got two zombies to kill, and let's see if they start moving towards us, and hopefully they keep moving towards us as they move along. Okay, yeah, they're just going away. So, all right, so let's just make a move randomly for now, then, just for now. I'll figure that out in the late and later on once we start getting into AI and start creating other stuff. So we want it to be uh, when it's created. We want it to move. And then on here, just go click all of these, and we're going to give it a speed of two. And also, we want to go to uh, we want to go to other outside room. Do this reverse vertically and reverse horizontally. That way, so it won't just go outside the room and keep going on and on forever. So now it should just move randomly, and uh, like I said, we'll do some more with the AI later but uh okay so now they're moving on moving uh, randomly now let's go ahead and kill him and then kill him so yeah so not really that difficult yet but we'll get uh, it gets more difficult as we go along so that code should be very simple like I said I'll put this code in the description below and if you want to see the other codes I just wrote out just uh, pause the video at then and just copy it because it's only one line of code it's not that hard to remember so anyway I want to thank you guys for watching um, and by the way I'm keeping these videos short because I don't want to just go on for 20 minutes talking about uh, a game and then you guys forget what I said in the beginning so uh, yeah so that's why I'm keeping it short and sweet so uh, thank you guys for watching comment favorite it helps and subscribe it helps me out a lot also uh don't forget to punch that like button in the face i'll see you guys next time